gosh, and we've got uh, Jacoby Papa Roach. Obviously, you don't need an introduction, right? What's with the face? I mean, introduction is cool, though. Introduce that shit. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Every time I sit down and chat with you, you always have so much energy. What is it? Like, is it coffee? Is it caffeine? Because I'm insecure and nervous, just to be honest. I, I have a tendency to do that with men. Yeah, it's just, it is what it is. So I'm really excited about um, the new album coming out. I got to hear the new single t- oh, this morning. Uh, it's very old school, Papa Roach, Whoa. with a little bit of new stuff in there, new sounds in there. It's a, it's, we like to say that this, the album itself, the full-length record, is it's like if Infest, our first album, had sex with Getting Away with Murder and they had a child, yeah. this would be the record. Because, you know, on, with a track like Help, that song kind of harkens back to Scars, but it's like a little bit more, I guess, up-tempo and upbeat than Scars is. But just the juxtaposition of, of this, like, because it's in a major key, so it's like it sounds kind of upbeat and happy, but the lyrics, it's just a dark anthem. Yeah. And, and, I, and I like that juxtaposition, and, and we, we, we tapped into that on a track like Scars back in the day, and we were like, all right, let's see if we wrote something in the major key again. You know, we've done that with songs like Lifeline in the past. And so, yeah, it's got a little element of some old school with some new school. And, and I'm just excited for everybody to hear the record in its entirety because it's, it's, it takes you on a ride. It's like I'm rapping on a, like more than half the record. It's, and then there's tracks that are just, just it's, it's all over the place. It's, are you doing any um, collaborations on the record with anyone? Uh, yeah, we do have a couple collaborations. Um, we haven't we haven't announced them yet. I won't, but I won't tell anyone. I'll tell you this. This okay. is what I'll tell you about the collaborations. Um, they're outside the box. They're not the norm of what you would would expect from Papa Roach, and that's exactly what we wanted to do. We wanted to, because we feel like as a rock band and as as creators, we want to challenge our fan base and and take them on a ride. You know, because if you do the same thing with the same people in the same scene, and it just becomes everything becomes same. But does that make you nervous that they won't like the what you're doing different? You know, because some some fans just want old school pop approach. They don't want to hear anything different. Does it scare you a little bit, or are you just like, well, you know, I'm doing this for me, obviously, and I want to be artistic and and. I would say I would say uh, if they want old school pop approach, they got old school pop approach yeah. on. You know what I'm saying? We wrote him fast. True. It's like there you go. Um, but for me, it's like no, I'm not nervous at all. I'm more excited because what I've seen in the history of our band is that whenever we're a little bit bold and change stuff up, like for instance, I mean, I keep talking about this song, but scars so much different than anything we ever did. And it was one of the songs that catapulted us into the next level. And I just, I look at that and I go, it's, this isn't a, it's not a self-indulgent record, you know, where it's like, Oh, we just want to do this because it's art. You know what I mean? We, this is, this record's got guts. It's got teeth. It's, it's, I think, what our fans have been waiting for for a long time. And so uh, we, we give it to them. Just, it's ferocious and it's emotional. It's, it's yeah. It's Is bad. it a spinoff from the last album? Um, you know, Fear, obviously, Face Everything and Rise. And, and so is this kind of like a spinoff, like the next chapter of that um, in I, your life, per se, I guess? It would almost be like this record is a precursor okay. to that record. Um, there's, there's a bit more... Um, because there was a lot of uh, my spiritual awakening in that record. And, and this, this record, <coughs> to me, personally, if I could take a time machine back to like 1969 when my father came back from Vietnam, when they were spitting on the soldiers and calling them baby killers and telling them to fuck off, like I would roll up on them and give them a big old hug and I would hand them this record and be like, this is for you. This record is for you. Just re- read the lyrics. I know this music sounds like from the future because I am from the future. But this, you know, th- this record is for you. You know what I mean? And, 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 it, and, it, and it, hits, it hits right now. I mean, you think about all these fellas coming back, you know, from, from, from wartime experience and the, and the wreckage and the, and the wounds that they have as emotionally, spiritually. Their families are broken and, and they're just dealing with this chaos and turmoil. Like, I, it's a record of healing and frustration and I'm fucking mad and I'm angry and I'm happy and I'm it's 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 a it's a savage album well you know 
being in North Carolina, we have two huge Marine bases right there. And the Marines, you know, big fans of Papa Roach, so I'm sure that they're going to appreciate, I guess, would be the word, uh, you know, to use for this album. But it's heart-wrenching to see exactly what you're talking about firsthand when these when these guys or, or women come back, you know, from being deployed. And I've seen it firsthand where friends' families have been broken apart because of it. It's a bummer. You know, I worked with a, cu- a couple dudes trying to get sober or whatnot, and they're they're – coming back from overseas and they come back and they're you know their girlfriend's fucking some other dude their kids calling somebody else daddy it's like whoa that's that's heavy that's hardcore stuff to deal with and you know my father came back i'm a son of a, a veteran and you know he came back from vietnam with a crazy heroin habit and then started a family well what happened to that it was just wreckage you know so these fellas you know i just want to i just want to you know, send my heart out to them. But then also, like, you know, there's there's lyrics on this record where I, I straight up say, I'm like, don't you ever, have you ever thought that war is a sickness? Like, maybe this PTSD is just a symptom of the real sickness. And so, you know, I'm a man of peace, straight up. You know, that's what I fight for. And so, uh, you know, call me crazy, but that's that's what I believe in. I've never been in a fist fight in my life, you know? No, I never, I just don't, I don't, I don't, I, I when I say I say peace, it's because I mean it and I live it. And uh, because I've seen the effects of it on, on my family and, and so many other families that it's like, well, fuck, man, like, let's let's figure this out. Like, let's rise above this humanity. Just hug it out. So when you were writing this album, was it kind of um, another step for you as far as um, uh, therapy, I guess, or just to get that that angst out or whatever it is that you were going through before you sobered up, like you went back to it? Um, was it more of a therapy session for you when you were writing this? It always is. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm dredging through old stuff, dealing with old demons. Um, I'm singing about people's lives around me, you know, because this record has uh, elements of uh, socio-political edges to it, you know, where it's not necessarily political, but it's it's our it's our position in the world and how we deal with this crazy ass world. And, uh, you know, so, yeah, it's definitely cathartic and it's mandatory for me to make music because if I don't, I will hang myself in my garage. It's well, just music like, saved your life, right? Yeah, dude. It's like that's it, man. Like it's if I don't have this, it's like I'm I'm done, you know. So it's a it's a it's a crazy mad world because I'm I'm a I'm a I'm an empathetic person. Um, I'm very I have this compassion for people that struggle because I've been through my own struggles. But it's like I just feel like when people are hurting and they're next to me and they're walking through it, it's like I feel it, and so it's like. I just it it sucks, man. And in a world right now where people are just hurting and vicious on each other, it's just like fuck, man. It's it's a hard time. So music is is a healer, and that's what this record's about. Absolutely. Do we have um, a date for the album and the name of the uh, album yet? The al- Oh, I can't tell you. The name. <sighs> all right, all right. It's yeah. all it's, it, it, it's all under wraps. When when will we know? Uh, the album will be released in May. I can tell you that. We don't know the date yet, but we haven't release the title of the album as well so. okay so speaking of may you're going to be kicking off the loudest month of rock at carolina rebellion we're excited to have you back are we going to hear just the one single or are we going to hear anything else is there a- going to be any more information about the album out oh, the yeah, first most, weekend most definitely by may we're going to have we're going to it's actually honestly like in the next week okay. we're going to have all this announcements coming out rolling on paparoach.com so if fans want to you know jump on there pop roach facebook or whatnot and i'm going to fish for this so oh, hey, let me tell you though it, Carolina Rebellion. It's my wife's fortieth birthday, so we're here? yeah, dude. It's oh, good. We're gonna whoop awesome. it up. So we're gonna have a raging party that night. It's gonna be a good time. So, and then I think I'm gonna go bounce a while around Carolina. Maybe go up to the coast or something yeah. like that with her. Yeah, you should. Absolutely, Carolina's so beautiful. Um, where was I gonna go with that? Um, talking about the festivals, but uh, oh, so I'm gonna fish for this. So you can't tell me the collaborations, but maybe will there be an artist at the festival that you collaborated on in this album that we may have a surprise visit on stage with you? I don't know. Uh, one of them is definitely not going to be there. They're, they're both not in the genre of rock. I could okay. tell you that. Okay. That's um, fair enough. So I, that's all I can say. But there might be a guest appearance. Well, I'll take it. I'll take it. So um, let's talk about your clothing line really quickly before we wrap this up because I love it. Uh, lovers are lunatics. So uh, did did you start that um, with your wife or was that just something you did on your own? No, that's uh, me and a partner, uh, this guy. He's up in uh, Lansing, Michigan. A friend of mine, he'd been designing stagecoats for me for years and kind of we're both in the same point in our lives we were like slowing down a little bit taking a foot off the gas you have never slowed down i'm saying like you know from that wild shit and so uh 
Yeah, and so it's just we felt that, all right, let's collaborate. Let's see what happens. And so we've been building it and building it and building it. And uh, I'm actually wearing a hoodie right now. Look at this thing. It's destroyed. I love this thing so much. I, like, washed it and then, like, tore it so it would have. I'm a fan of the leggings. Like, I love the leggings. Yeah, the leggings are hot. Girls really like that. You know, we actually found a a big, big part of our, uh, I guess, our fan base, our family is female. You know, and so it's uh, we like to definitely cater to the ladies with our brand. And I'll tell you why, because I'm a female. Well, usually we can't find cool rock shit that fit us. You know what I mean? It's it's usually geared towards men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like little teeny bopper girls. Exactly. We want women's clothing here. We don't want like like real women's clothing. And so it's definitely got it's it's got that rock edge covered. And honestly, like we found we saw we saw like a need for it because there's not really very, very many rock brands out there that are really like capturing uh, rock culture. And so we're also excited about that because, you know, festival season's coming up. We're about to drop like a festival specific line, you know, where it's just all about, you know, wearing that t-shirt to the festival that has got, you know, catchy slogan or whatnot on it or that, you know, that, yeah, it's going to be dope. So just stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? Go on loveslunatics.com, see what we're doing. And, uh, constantly evolving constantly trying new stuff and uh yeah it's, it's been a fun process it's been a lot of work and it's been some freaking headache but it's like nothing good happens yeah. if there's no headache or hard work i just want to know how you have so much energy i mean, it's insane well, every time i see you you're like balls to the wall like bah! you know for a, for <laughs> i have a yeah <laughs> i have a i mean i gotta be honest you know it's like I've had moments in the last couple of years where like I haven't been so balls to the wall and I've ran into some fucking some walls and some darkness again. And and I just had to recheck myself. You know, I was living on that lower powered life and I'm like, nah, that ain't going to work for me. Like I got to get on a higher powered life again. You know what I'm saying? So that's what gives me that energy. You know, it's like when I'm being real and being honest and, you know, and, and when I do that, I clear the wreckage out and then I have room for creativity to flow. And so that's why I'm full of energy. Because I got my shit right right now. I love you. I really do, Jacoby. I love you, and I love your passion. I love you. Uh, all right, so we'll wrap it up with 2017. Obviously, you're going to hit the festival scenes. Are we going to see a headlining Papa Roach tour after all of that is done? Uh, later I'm on. I'm assuming you're, you're, you're going to go to Europe and do that whole yeah. thing. Yeah. We're, uh, we're not going to do too much uh, touring in Europe in the summer this year. We're going to kind of take a chill. But uh, we'll be back in the fall for a headlining tour. So Please make a stop in North Carolina. Oh, do not forget about us. We will. We will. Them. All right, well, I don't know when the album's coming out. I don't know anything else about anything about the album except for Crooked Teeth. You could hear on Rock 105. Jacoby of Papa Roach, thanks for, uh, for hanging out. We're in Vegas, by the way. Yeah! <laughs> We're about to go do this. Hey, yeah. what I can tell you, though, is when we go Should I turn this off? Uh, okay. Uh, when we're after okay, the on, after this interview, interview, we're about to play you the whole album. Down oh, the there. whole album? Yeah, I we'll thought it was just the single. No, we're we'll play you the whole record. Hold on. Don't tell anybody till we get down there. All right, I'll let you guys know how yeah. it is when I get back on Tuesday. Morning. Oh, we keep that on the D-Lo? We're not supposed oh, to tell them. Have... They can know now. Yeah, okay, we, we fucking know. I think I need help. I'm drowning in.